Okay, I've realised I haven't got depression. I'm just unhappy with every job I ever do. Or, you know, I can manage a job that's very difficult to do for about eight months and then I can't tolerate it any longer. And I've realised, you know, with Buddhism, um, that every time I get a job I do like, people see me being very happy and maybe they envy that, you know, because it is hard to see a happy person. So um, some A-R-S-E angel fires me, you know, because they see a very happy person. And, and even me, even though I love seeing people happy, happy being around somebody who's extremely happy is i do i do still find that quite difficult because it's really irritating unless um like my net my flatmate you know if i hadn't seen her when she was really depressed i, I would have not been able to be around her but because i've seen her when she was really ill um it's really special every time i see her happy i'm very happy for her so that's that yeah i sort of forget that people have had a process and that's the same but so today I did walk uh, around the block, that doesn't sound much, but I wanted to get some fresh air. I'm having a day to myself to be, um, well I'm actually making a, a wooden staff. I don't know if you can see that. This is what I quite like to do, make, um, make a mess. <laughs> make a mess. So this is actually, I was starting to make this wooden staff for my mum. Um, but this is really documenting my... My Buddhist recovery, so it's realizing actually I haven't got depression, I'm just unhappy, and I can change that. It's not an illness, that is actually what I a realization. So I'm struggling today because, but I don't feel very well, I've got a headache because of all the worry about not having a job. So, worry is also, mm, I don't know if this is true, but I'm gonna say it worry is, is not Buddhism because it's my life state that I can change you know I can change this situation and that I do um you know it's, it's like there's two me's isn't there there's the me I can't see being successful and proud and achieving and there's the me you know that I'm spend most of my time being frightened of that is a failure <laughs> you know everybody's worst nightmare a failure you know um I've failed at a lot of things and I've, I've succeeded in a lot of things and you know mental health or whatever it is or unhappiness is difficult but I, I forgot what I was going to say but it's um, I think what I have achieved in my life is outweighs more than what I failed in my life but I do need to get on a college course and get some feeling of achievement and you know gear up to a job I'm going to really enjoy which I do think is is art and nature, art and animals, um, bringing other people the benefit of animals. Um, because really, you know, I mean, I, I do love, I care about people very much, but, you know, my soul is happy with animals. And, um, but I want to make money because I want to look after my friends and my, my new relationship. Who's, 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 yeah, with myself as well. So um, today I am... Um, just trying to have a rest and maybe do some nice things like just relax. I'm chanting a lot. I have chanted a lot and um, to to break through, really break through my my own negativity and light myself and stop thinking horrible thoughts because I have OCD. I do have OCD. Depression, I realise, is not an illness, but OCD is an illness. I think um, really intrusive, unkind thoughts. But I love. I love OCD, she's my friend. <laughs>